appreciate everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Dick Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Dima YouTube Music. Imagine you were about to bet on a fighter and the fighter was talking so much trash like, yeah, man, I'm about to knock him out in the first round, bruh. It's about to be on and cracking. So you're like, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm a bet on dude, man, because dude's about to get in the ring and put hands on him. Then as soon as the bell rang, you're like, a ring sound effect, Dima? As soon as he get on there, ah, super sound effects. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gets knocked out in the third round. Devastating, hooked to the body, just getting towed back. How would you feel about that guy after that? Well, whatever his ranking was before that fight would completely be dismantled. He'd be looked at as a joke. And if people were fearful of him before, they wouldn't be fearful of him again because he has weaknesses. And if you can exploit it, he's easy to be beat. You wouldn't take him serious unless he could work his way back up, which is a hard road after getting knocked out like that. Fast forward! The same can be said with relationships. And a lot of guys know relationships are tough, usually tough on men, uh, especially when divorces happen. Why? Because women usually brag about how better they are once they leave the guy. Some of them say they have graduated from marriage like Katia Mari. You know, m my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm, yeah. And at the end of that curriculum, and at the end, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. Yeah, graduated from marriage. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> While she's saying that, Mr. Corey Hardrick ain't saying nothing. He's just sitting back and watching the Instagram posts, watching her pretend to have a good time, watching her talk about her dating struggles in the market, how guys are trash. That's what she's doing. But wait a minute. Stop the show. Something is wrong here. Something is shady here. That's because Tia Maori is still making crazy posts on Instagram, like having mental breakdowns like this one. Recovering from a divorce feels like a whirlwind journey. I found that through the process, divorce is in a place where we arrive. It's entering a new chapter of life with many nuances and no one size fits all handbook. One moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly, waves of emotions hit you all over again. It's a side of divorce that isn't often discussed, especially when there are kids involved. You strive to be a role model, teaching them resilience and self-care. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup with exercise, journaling your thoughts, meditation, and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future. It may sound cliche, but time truly does have a way of soothing pain. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. For anyone who is going through this, I would love to hear your experience, share your story because there's power in dialogue. As women, we take our power back by sharing our stories and bringing any deep shame we hold from this experience into the light. I love you guys, Tia. Now, to me, guys, this sounds like a call for help. She needs some help out of this situation. And I don't understand why she would put this out there to a group of people who don't care anything about her. And that's where the problem lies. Yes, Tia Maori was willing to pick people that didn't know her over the guy that she had two or three kids with, which is Mr. Corey Hardrick. And again, he's been professional in the fact that she wanted to end the relationship and he never down talked her despite the fact she threw numerous shots at him. Can I get a dun 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 sound effect? <laughs> Guess what? This article by the US Sun says this reunited Tia Maori and ex husband Corey Hardrick working things out one year after the divorce as she tries to earn his trust back. 
Now, let's talk about this. Story time music! So guys, I had this particular lady that um I used to deal with. I bought the lady um a real nice iPhone like right before we broke up. Went to see her, gave her some money, did some things for her. Then one day, you know, I noticed she was acting real funny, not hitting your boy up. Then she posted a particular WhatsApp message of a text like, Day music! Oh my God! I can't believe he's going to take me to Ghana and Tanzania and all these places, Dubai. And I'm like, stop the show. <laughs> I'm like, damn, like, that's not me you're talking about. Who are you talking about? I come to find out that particular young lady used the iPhone that I bought her to go to Tinder and get a new guy. Fast forward, Dima. <laughs> then came the booty clapping sounds. The booty clapping sounds. <laughs> and stop the show. She had some good coochie i'm not gonna lie bro it was good so i know that um he was off in that thing and he was because baby sound effects within six months she was pregnant gets pregnant by the guy has a baby then you know she went to the states came back to you know back to the continent Put a clap of got another kid guess who got a text message can i get a dun 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 sound effect Yeah, your boy. It was like, hey, how you been? Or, you know, very similar to, hey, big head text messages in the black community. So I'm thinking like, damn, you know, you wasn't even thinking about <laughs> your boy even back then. So, you know, now that you got clapped up and you got two kids by a dude that you said that you don't like, here you are trying to ruin my life. And I was like, um, you know, hey, listen, I don't have no problem with you no more because I was a little butt hurt, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Cause that cooter was good, and I'm like spending time with her. But the the reality is, man, the the first of all, the lady was destructive. No man would be able to ever do anything with her. She's just that kind of chick, man. Like, unfortunately, there is no way you're gonna be able to do anything with a woman like her. Whatever you're trying to do, she's gonna destroy it, right? And that's just how it is, and that's just what it is. It's not disrespectful. It's just the truth. But secondarily, there is no way I was gonna forgive that. Like, you're not going to disrespect me by going out, getting with this other dude, getting two kids by him and coming back to me only when you feel like you you you, you can't do what you want to do in the market. And that's what I feel like this is what's happening to Corey Hardrick. If you take her back, you're, you're not taking her. She's not coming back because she loves you. She's she's coming back because she felt like she can't she can't do any better than you, which means that. If you take her back, you're pretty much saying, well, you can break up with me and do it again, which you should never let her do that. Like, no, you want to do that. Continue in your failures. All right. And furthermore, a man like him, what does he need to take her back for anyway? She feels obviously she's better than you. That's clear. No matter what you have tried to do, she feels like she's better than you. Here's a great time for her to prove it. She can prove that she's better than you by getting somebody better than you. But uh-oh, she can't get anybody better than you. And that's typically what the situation is for many men, especially black men. Uh, brothers get in relationships. Um, you know, you beg the wife not to leave you. And sometimes you don't even have to do a lot wrong. It's the fact that they feel that they deserve so much better. So since you believe that inherently, this is the opportunity for you to show that you do and that you can do things better in which we feel like maybe you can't. So if I was him, there would be no reason why I would take her back. I mean, I don't know, he, they have kids and things like that. So that's probably the reason why he might. But if that wasn't the case, hell no. I mean, for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, who wants to put up with her every day? And that's how most guys should look at it. You know, if a woman breaks up with you, unless you know you're doing something crazy, but if you're not, if you know she feels like she deserves a better guy and she finds out she can't get a better guy let, let, let her go back out and do whatever she was doing and move on about your life and let's see if you know the reality of the world can solve it let's see what 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 the what the economy says for you let's see what you can get out there in the free market and i guarantee you i guarantee you we'll never find it so guys, what do you think it's your boy? I should do Jack said back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Dunk. Pretty sure for all you do subscribe to the bell. We're out.